Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, chat managers, for your help. I appreciate it. Oops. Okay. I'm Yara Girl, and Janetta, Elizabeth Martinez, Jordan Johnson, Susan Wattella, Nana BC, Lecture Storm, Marty Sage. I hope everyone is well and having a good weekend. Uh, today is Saturday, so you are allowed to ask personal questions or political questions, but the last thing I heard while I was, uh, I was on Twitter, and I didn't see the tweet, but it seemed like somebody inferred that Trump says he's willing to go to jail for his first amendment because the judge put a gag order on him, and he's going to break it. I hope, I think the judge will, 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 will put him in jail. Uh, and that's what Trump wants. He, he does those things thinking and hoping he will get away with it. And uh, I just hope the judge, the judge, I think he does. Marshawn doesn't play. He's not playing. I think so, you know, they, they, they have to set an example on him. That was the latest thing I heard, but I feel, uh, like I said before, I'm not sure if it's Marsha or Judge Shotgun. Shotgun. But the way I am getting Marsha, he's already uh, preparing himself if he has to take drastic measures against Trump, he'll do it because uh, Trump has shown how arrogant he is and uh, he thinks he's above the law. And Marsha, it feels like to me, is a firm believer that he should not be getting away with as much as he's getting away with, but they do it so that his base doesn't say they jump the gun and punish them, and punish him. That's what I feel is happening, but I feel Marsha will take him on. If he breaks the, the gag order, he will pay. So I don't know which one he will, if he's going to find him first or uh, jail him. But there are going to be some consequences, and then Trump will, Trump will stop. Because also the other thing Trump is hoping uh, that he can cause some sort of violence. Like I said a long time ago, if it triggers any type of violence, it will be put down so violently, uh, it will be scary. That's what I feel. I've said that a very long time ago. Uh, January 6th came, and I predicted somebody was going to die because I, I, those of you who have been with me for a while, I, I described somebody on the ground with blood coming out of their uh, mouth. The, the tape is available. I mean, the, not the tape. The, the video is available. I don't remember. In those days, I used to, those of you who have been with me for a while, do, if, I don't know if you remember, there was a time my, the title of my videos did not match what I was the reading that I did in the video. And it was because at that time, some of my videos were being demonetized. Thank you very much, Mr. Maurice, for our generosity and the super chat. I appreciate it. Mr. Maurice, as I mentioned on your last live video, I have a chance to move up at my job into electronics career after passing a, a test in April 11th. Will I pass that? I feel you will. Just keep studying, okay? I feel you will. Go for it. Uh, yes, he is hoping that you know he will trigger some kind of violence, and the government is going to be afraid. And like I said in my one of my videos, I don't recall which one. Oh God, I used the the, the, the title was a mismatch, or at least weren't clear. But I said I uh, I told you guys I saw somebody on the ground with blood coming out. If I thought it was a male but it was that lady who got shot. Uh, if anybody, I don't see crowd, 
but if any three percenters or pride boys were to take to the street, commit violence because uh, the, you know Trump has, is facing prison, oh boy, yeah, it's not. It won't be pretty. They will not be played with. That's what I'm getting for this time around. So we'll see. Uh, Ajaneta is asking, my husband has taken the ancestry DNA test. He never knew who his father is. Is it possible no one knew of his existence? It is, I mean, yes, it is very possible, unfortunately. Uh, because a lot of time, guys, you know, a long time ago, I, I, I don't know if it's a cultural thing. They can get a woman pregnant and they don't know about it. And then if, let's say, for example, was the person was in the military or something that affected the person moved. A lot of people, Vietnamese uh, children, their father, a lot of them, their father did not know. They had uh, kids there. And that's how they found out through DNA and other uh, tests, you know, they were able to trace based on description of the person, the base they were on, all those that, that type of things, and their mom were able to, to track them down and let them know they have kids. But yes, I'm, I'm going around and giving you those examples to prove, yes, that can happen. And, uh, but also, even if the person can take a DNA test, but if the family, no one has, uh, I, don't, I don't think anyone in my family has ever I mean, I don't think I've ever had a DNA test done for myself. I'm sure probably some other people, other family members who are in the military, that's probably the only way. So somebody in that family would have to have uh, DNA in the data bank for him to find out. Because, you know, they can't find out just you exist, you know? Hi, rebel girl. But yeah, it is very possible that uh, the father didn't know. So tell your husband to keep looking. You never know. I mean, find out how those Vietnamese kids found their, their parents or their father and uh, see if you can go that way as well. Okay? But I feel there's a very good chance he'll find out who the father, his father is. Okay. Let's see. I am looking for questions. Oh, guys, I was looking. Uh, Christina Brooks says, please may I ask a personal question? Looking for any job. Would it happen soon? Thank you. Uh, Christina, can you please call me? Oh, boy, I forgot to get the number. Why am I getting, why am I seeing a hospital? Okay. Here's the YouTube number. Here's the YouTube number. Who asked? Christine. Christine. I'm, I said Christina. Sorry. I, I, I have to, I'm going to get, I'm going to have to get new glasses. They're so expensive. Oh my God. And also, uh, the way my screen is positioned, I can't see very well. I want to put it down so I can just go like this. But my, my uh, desk is not deep enough. So I'm playing with a couple of ideas on how to do that. Yes, I was, you know, lately, since the PDD situation, I, uh, I've been looking, trying to have a better understanding of, of the entertainment industry. Oh, my God. That's an ugly business. I, I could never imagine some of the things that I am hearing, the experiences people are sharing on those videos. I'll be back. Hi, this is Milo. Hi, this is Christine. 
Okay, why am I seeing a hospital? Do you work on healthcare or somebody close to you does something healthcare related? No. Don't tell me what you do. Don't tell me what you do. Nobody close to you or somebody in the hospital or going to the doctors? No. I'm seeing uh, healthcare. Unless, uh, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting, I was seeing a hospital. Okay, just remember that. And also okay. the, the next thing I'm getting, I'm seeing, uh, I'm getting something like accounting or finance. Do you do something like that or who does that? At one time, quite a long time ago I did, but not oh. recently. Okay, what do you do now? Because that's what I'm getting. Information technology. Oh, okay, well. Let, let me tell you, uh, if you do IT work, okay, you can work in either field. Before I decided to do psychic work full time, I'm a software engineer, okay? So I worked for a biomedical company, and after that I worked for a transportation company, and you can work, and it, they can put you in any projects, that's for example, it can be if you work for a biochemical medical company, okay, you can do IT work for them because like when I worked there, I was a member of a team that designed the, uh, uh, the tray that they use for blood analyzers. They put a bunch of little uh, vase, you know, it's like a round thing, and then it has to move and the probe comes down and it takes the blood and do the does the analysis. I mean, it's, it's very complicated, more complicated than that. I just said it so that you can understand what I'm talking about. So with uh, an IT, you can do any type of things. So because you did the, you said you did the finance work a while back, right? Yeah. yeah so it doesn't matter. You know, you, you have the experience, but I'm not saying I, when I said that, you, you, it feels like to me you have opportunity. You may have opportunities working in the finance department or developing finance, you know, application for finance, okay, or something with healthcare because I'm getting those two things. But I'm getting two, so hang in there between now or June and June, somewhere around there. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Have Good luck to you. You too. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Goodbye. Okay. Yes, uh, I was, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos. Oh my God, I, there is this young lady by the name of Maya. I heard her uh, about her experience in the, in the uh, entertainment industry. She was, I don't, I don't remember exactly now if she was, oh yeah, she was in the Jay-Z company and she did not, she turned down their advances, and it seemed like they tried to blackball her, or blackball her, and she tried different ways of, uh, she's, she's successful in my eyes, but she spurned their advances, and they basically tried to blackball her. But the thing is, this, to me, is creating a lot of opportunities. You know, if I had partners, I have an idea on how, because of what's going on and the disgust, how disgusting I find what's taking place in the entertainment industry, there is opening for somebody to walk in and make, first of all, rule number one, make it safe for young kids or people who are naive who are, who want, who want to become entertainers. Thank you very much, Susan Wotella, for our university and the Super Chat. I appreciate it, Susan Wotella says, thank you. Very welcome. Thank you. Yes, I feel, I mean, there is no doubt about it that the, the situation that's unfolding is going to get worse. And believe me, guys, a lot of people are going to go to prison, okay, or if they have good lawyers, maybe if they collaborate, they, you know, they, they, <laughs> uh, the law may have some, they give him a break. But there is a lady, she has mental issues, 
I was, I did not know. I heard her speak. She's very articulate. She's a bright, she has an amazing voice. But like I said, they, you know, they don't like her. I and mean, you know, she, they don't, a lot of the, those guys, they, they, they don't know, you know. Uh, but the minute I was watching her, I'm not going to mention her name, she, I could tell she has mental issues, but I've been listening to her for the past two or three days because I want to incorporate some of this into my readings. Let me see if you guys have questions. And to my readings, I'm going to start doing, you know, to attract more people to my, uh, to my streams. So, uh, so I've been listening and learning because I don't know anything about the entertainment industry. And that lady is telling this, I mean, some horrible stories. And I've, I knew there was a mental issue there. And I found out today that she, it seems like she has uh, depression. But that doesn't mean that doesn't take away uh, what she went through, the reality the injustices she suffered uh, from people, uh, from predators, basically. That's how I call these, these people. Uh, but there is, there, 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 I hope people realize, and if I had the money, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm going to talk to one of my brothers about it, about the idea on how you can create something Basically, we create this industry and put these people out of business based on what I'm hearing. You know, men and women, you can never, I'm not, that's not my goal, but, at, but to protect people who don't want to take part or be basically uh, put in a certain situation where they do things they would normally wouldn't do, and then they become victimized. I was so angry today when I was... This is sick. I had to stop watching some of those uh, videos. But another thing, I, you know, guys, I, I, I don't know if it was last week I told you I'm a fan of uh, Cat Williams. Cat Williams has mental issues as well. I, but, you know, the report button is still showing. I don't know what the report, Blue Moon said that. I don't know what the report button is. But the thing is, you know what I found out today? I, I said, well, that's why I think I'm a great, such a fan of Cat Williams. Yes, he's a little crazy. It's because this guy, he shares when he goes and performs somewhere and someone opens for him or he sees a comedian who does well, he gives them money, he helps them. I'm like, oh my God, that's why I'm such a fan of his. So I thought I would share. What do you see for love for me? Uh, you got to ask a little more specific uh, than that, but hang on a second. Mia, that girl, I believe that's Mia, that girl, who, who asked me. The, Mia, that girl, can you please call me? Uh, here's the number. And after that, uh, uh, you know, friends, let's be a little more precise with our questions because otherwise, you know, it's, I don't have enough time <laughs> because there are a lot of people waiting. Hi, this is Milu. Hi, Milu. Hi, okay. You said uh, that cute guy, does he have dark hair and does he have a mustache sometimes? Or Facial hair? Um, he has dark brown hair and he has dark brown facial hair. Okay, it's him. Um, and he's about 5'10? About 5'10, somewhere around there. Yeah, for, and, and it seems like very fair skin to me. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Uh, I am seeing him. I feel you will see him again, but I'm not sure if that's the one. Uh, uh, you're going to be in a long term relationship with. Okay. Okay. Now, here, here's the thing. Um, I I think I was cross husband in him August of 2023. Okay. I was walking on the sidewalk somewhere, and I suddenly I see a guy. Kind of looks like him. But I'm not so sure. Okay. But as I'm walking by him. He he kept he kept looking at me as I'm walking by, and I kind of made locked eyes with him. Oh, okay. As I'm walking by too, and I smiled at him, but he didn't do anything. Okay. Me. Well, I don't know if it's him. But the person that I described, because, you know, you can't, you know, make this up. Yeah. You're going to meet him. Yeah. And who's John or a name that's a letter J? John Lennon. 
Ron Jacob, something like that? Yeah. Uh, no. I'm sorry? I think, I think I, I'm suspecting I crossed paths with him, and I might have seen him on TV so much. <laughs> John? No, his name starts with J. There is a J name here. Okay, if you don't know him, you're gonna meet him, okay? And also there's a B, Brad. Okay, this one is tall, about 5'11". Brownish, light brown hair, okay? Okay, so now, that, the guy that we were talking? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm describing other people besides the person, who, who, the first person you ask. You're gonna meet two or three other people. So I don't know which one you're gonna prefer, okay? But yeah, you will see the, the first one you ask about you know, yeah, uh, I feel you will encounter him okay. again, but I wouldn't wait. I mean, there are other people that are going to come your way. I would give him a chance, okay? So you said you weren't sure that we're going to end up together, but he was attracted to me, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. All right. Good luck to you. Take All care. Right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay. FSU says, how do we get an astrology? Chat compile for Milu. Uh, you can go to my website or text me your date of birth, the time you were born, and your place of birth. It's usually 25 bucks. So, okay? All right. And don't send the money. <laughs> I mean, not that yet. Or call me tomorrow. Okay? I mean, you know, it's... it's uh, I will send you, you know, I, it's, it, I, I'll, do, I'll do you a favor. I'll, I'll, I'll add an extra report, three reports and a chart, okay? Your, your, the, your natal chart, your natal report, your transit report, and uh, another report that will tell you, you know, how lucky you are and all those kind of good things, you know. The, 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 there are certain things about the highlights of your life, basically. That's what it does. Okay. Jasmine is asking, do you see me getting in a long-term relationship? I feel like saying yes. Yeah, Jasmine, can you please call me? I'm posting the number. Let's see. Hi, Mary Johnson. Thank you for reminding everyone to hit to give me the thumbs up. I appreciate it. You've had business. I mean, the Boeing Union employees are to strike in September. Will they? If so, how long? I don't feel it's going to be long. And I don't feel, I mean, if they do, it won't be long because I don't think, I think Boeing has enough problems right now. That's the way I'm getting their, uh, the thinking of the people above, okay? Hi, this is Milu. Oh, hi, Milu, it's Jasmine. Okay, who's the very tall gentleman, about 5'11 to 6 feet? Um, if you don't know him, I'm you're going to meet sure him, okay? That. Yeah, I'm not in a relationship right now. Okay, well, yeah, that's the person I'm seeing. And the name starts with the letter L, as in Lou, the or something like that, okay? And then there's a Greg. Who's Greg? Hmm, okay. no, I don't know a Greg. Okay, if you don't know him, just remember I told you. Okay, he's around 5'10", uh, dark hair, okay? All right? Okay, but what, what complexion do you... Uh, light. Okay. Like you yeah. said, the letter L is in the name Greg. And no, there is one. The name starts with the letter L. The second one, the the name it sounds like Greg to me. Okay, or the letter G. Okay. Okay. Do you know like how soon, like a time frame? Well, yeah. If you take part in activities, I feel between now and the summer. Okay. Okay. All right. Good okay, luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Okay. okay. The old sister says, oh, my God, really stormy in Wyoming today, winds up 20 miles an hour. We had some, something like that here. I don't think it was up to 80. 
but at least four days last week. Hi, Linda Sandoval. Happy Saturday, Sheber. Okay. Any final says, I mean, do you see me changing my job? If you want to, I feel like saying yes, you can, but I'm getting October. So somewhere between now and October, if you are looking, okay? Okay. Hi, Roxy. All right, I'm scrolling up. Yeah, guys, I was, uh, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about what I'm learning and what I feel about what's coming in the entertainment industry as I look for questions on the screen. I, uh, I think uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to one of my brothers after I'm done here this evening because what I am reading that takes place in the entertainment industry is the sick. I, I, I've, it was disgusting. I had to, I was watching, uh, in fact, the woman I, 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 the young lady, she's been in the industry, it seemed like for a long time. And she was telling on everybody. She's been talk, talking about, I mean, most entertainers that I've heard of and some I have never heard about. And uh, the trauma. I mean, the, the, I mean, oh my God. So there is an opportunity for somebody to create from the ground up some, a, a safe place for people to be able to attend. You never, it's never going to be safe, but at least the goal uh, is to have uh, a safe place for people in the entertainment industry knowing that they're not going to be harassed into doing or forced to do things what they normally wouldn't do. But I have an idea where people don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk to one of my brothers. Maybe I can get funding for something like that. Anyway, I... I, I I don't know how many of you or anybody does it. Has anyone and in, in he ever worked in the entertainment industry? Okay. Let's see. Report button is still shown. I don't know what the report button is. I don't have a report button. Okay. I am. You very welcome, Miata girl. I'm, I'm scrolling down. Yvette B says, thank you, same thing. <laughs> I was wondering about my husband works, uh, okay. She was wondering the same thing. My husband works for Boeing and he's worried about the strike. Yeah, but I don't feel it's gonna last because the people in the C-suite uh, are very concerned, you know, what's going on and then have people go on strike. No, they don't think it's a, it's a smart thing to, to, to let that happen. So, I don't see it's going to be for long. Rita Sinclair says, is my relationship would change from the time I was out of work. He has no interest in me. I'm not sure I understand. If, I don't know if you ask. I'm not sure. Rita Sinclair. Sinclair, can you please call me? I don't understand your question. Uh, this is the, the number. Oh, Joel Dixon says, Boeing always settled before strikes. There you go. Oh, MK says, her uh, son's friend tests the engines for Boeing, and he has to test them until they... Blow up. <laughs> yeah, that's why they test to see the, the, the limit, how much they can take.
MK says, Milo, in any industry, there will be women that put out to get their paycheck, and I think that's terrible, and it happens at times, usually with small companies. Oh, yeah, I've, don't get me wrong. I've seen those things. Yes, it's, it's wrong, believe me. And, you know, you're going to have that everywhere, but the prevalence, the abuse, and it, it, it comes with psychological abuse as well, okay, that I am the... I'm, I'm like what, you know, I, I have to phrase this right so I don't sound, you know, like I'm putting people down. Oh, no. Well, yeah, somebody can take it wrong. Some of us have suffered abuse, either as a child, very young child. They have some, you know, uh, sick people out there. Okay. They abuse others. And if someone grows up in a family like that, they don't know better. Because if you think about it, we all think, see other people like we see ourselves until you learn different. And these guys, let's say, for example, the PDDs of this world, since he's the one that's, you know, who's alleged to be, to have committed to doing those things. Okay. I'll be back. Hi, this is me, Lou. Hello? Yes, this is me, Lou. Yes, um, this is Rita. You told me to call you. Yeah, what was your question, please? I'm sorry, I started talking and I don't remember what you my, asked. My question is, I'm in a relationship with, uh, with this man. Yes. And as soon as my part-time work is over, yeah. He no longer wants to be bothered because he told me before that uh, he rather have a woman that works. And so, but no. I keep on dwelling, um, thinking of him and I was saying, I wonder if this relationship ever going to work. No, I feel like saying move on. There is, who's the tall gentleman about six feet dark skin? Who's that? I'm sorry? I don't know. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know. Just remember I asked you, he has round face, okay? That is somebody you're uh -huh. going to meet. But the other one, I, 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 you know, well, first of all, the, the person is telling you he wants a woman that works. He has uh -huh. no right to tell you what to do. You know what I mean? I know. Okay? Uh, yeah. So you don't want him. That's a control freak, someone who let, wants to tell you how to live your life. That's, No. But, uh, okay. you know, take part in activities where you can meet people. You will meet somebody better. Forget him. Move on. Okay. Don't bother. Okay? So this person will be dark? No. And, and I mean, he'll be back as a friend or he's not going to stay. I'm just being honest with you. And it has nothing to do with you. Okay. It's because he wants things okay. his way. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good luck to you. You're going to meet okay. new people. Don't okay. worry. Okay. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, yes, uh, what I was hearing in the videos, the way, you know, I did not realize that the power, people like PDD, uh, Jay-Z, among others, they can do things and convince somebody who's vulnerable, who is naive, to find themselves doing something they did not intend to do. From women and men, from according to the, uh, what is alleged about PDD, this guy has abused young men, young women, underage people. Okay, I, I feel this is, I mean, uh, I don't, I just skip over when they explain those things, so I didn't, because it makes me sick. I don't want to have that picture on my mind, because when you like me, uh, but anyway, the thing is, no one should be, the, the, an industry like that should not exist. I understand they have adult industries, if the person is a choice, as long as the person is not a minor, that's a different story. But to abuse young people, 
that way, I think it's, it's a sick thing and our society should do something about it. And I feel that's what's coming with all, you know, R. Kelly, uh, Ep Epstein, and that guy, that movie uh, producer that's in prison right now, all these people. I think there are changes coming and if I, uh, and I feel there is opportunity for somebody like me <laughs> to step in and create something, a safe place for people using technology. Okay, that's what I was thinking about this afternoon. Let me look, can you please see if my CAT scan results are going to be okay, been very sick. I'm so sorry. Uh, I mean, what I'm getting is you're gonna, they're gonna find uh, what's wrong and you're gonna be fine, okay? So hang in there, Melissa. Keep us posted, but you'll be fine. You'll get through it. All right. Jasmine says, I did get a reading from you last year. You said I would meet someone with letter R. And I think that was my ex. Laughing out loud, it didn't work out. But yes, I did meet someone with the same letter. So accurate. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I do this. Who said that? Jasmine. You know, so that people know, have an idea of at least what I can do if they want to order a reading from me. I mean, you know, to give back as well. So thank you for the feedback. I appreciate it. Let me, uh, yes, I feel, my friend, there is uh, mm. opportunity in the entertainment industry for people to make, you know, you don't have to be a billionaire. You don't have to have a billion dollars to live, to do well. And these guys are just greedy. And according to what I'm hearing, uh, it seems, you know, that's alleged. But the same young lady that says, uh, PDD, and, uh, and it sounded right. And Jay-Z, they made a, a pact that they, both of them, they were going to control the music industry, at least a segment of it anyway. And if, if Jay-Z is not careful, he's going to go down with PDD as well. That's my prediction for today. Joel says, MTG will be reflected, but in big trouble next year with the feds. Yes, uh, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to, I mean, the next cycle from uh, Jack Smith. Oh, yeah. That's coming. Let's see. Uh, Linda Sandoval, I'm looking, a lot of famous people involved with DD, yeah. A lot of them are, are concerned as well. There is a guy, I forget, I forget his name. He was married to Demi Moore, I believe. Demi Moore? Yes, the, Ashton Kushner, I believe, is very concerned. I mean, there is news about it that he may hear from the feds. I mean, what's coming? This investigation is going to be huge. Jen Rogers says, YouTube is messing again with your show. Yes, I know. Thank you for, for letting me know, but yes, they... You know, I, what my goal is to get my, uh, I am doing everything I can to get my views, to get 50,000 uh, subscribers. But there is something else, that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to work on right now, to uh, get more people to watch my videos because I see some people they create videos, you know, I don't, well, maybe it's, if you guys have any ideas on how to attract or get people to click on my videos, because I don't see much difference, but I'm telling you, there's a woman I saw, she has 300,000 subscribers, all she does is curse. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> and I'm not going to do that. Okay. Nana B C says, were the allegation against Michael Jackson true? I never wanted to believe them. You know, I feel Michael Jackson was misunderstood. And you know, 
DNA has been around for a very long time. If something happened, somebody would have you know, produced DNA and their hem. I weird, uh, uh, Susan Grisby said, would I have psychic abilities? We all, we are all born with this gift, uh, Susan. It's a matter of practicing, okay? And if you, and also, you know, bring your confidence level up and meditate. I'm sure you probably know how to meditate. Yeah. But yes, I don't feel Michael, uh, It seems to me a lot of people were after, after his money. That's, that's what I, and, and it's been proven a lot of those people, in fact. Was, I was looking, look, watching a video yesterday. Two young men accused him of uh, abusing them, and then they said they, they, they made it all up. So, you know, and also there is something else we, some people, you know, he probably, you know, young kids, he plays with them and they think, you know, it's abuse. So, we'll see. But yes, for an older, for an older man, there are things he should not be doing, but according to, you know, the, the way they said he was, like a, he has a childlike side to him because of the way he grew up. And as we know, even in our relationships, the way we grew up, Trauma or not, I mean, he, you know, well, yeah, he, he suffered from trauma, from his abuse from his dad. But when he was young, he didn't have friends his age. He wanted to play and he wanted to create. In fact, there was a house I was doing open house for in a place they called Franklin Lakes in uh, uh, Bergen County, New Jersey. And he wanted to buy that property. The reason why he didn't buy it was because the town would not allow him to bring a giraffe or something like that <laughs> in the yard. But that house was is beautiful. Oh my God! But anyway, Sandra Watkins says, "Nilo, will I get the finances to buy land and a new home?" I feel like saying yes, but it may not be right away, my friends. So, you know, go for it, okay? All right, friends. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming and for spending time with me. Uh, if anyone would like a reading from me, the link to my website is below the video, psychicmiru.com, or you can call me or text me on my YouTube number. We can negotiate a time that's good for both of us to talk, or you can send me an email as well, but email takes me a little longer to respond. Sometimes it takes me a little longer to re reply to my text, but I do, I do reply. Uh, I, uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe, and also don't forget to tap on the notification bell. And please give me a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. I, if I stop a little bit for a second, I was reading what Blue Moon wrote. I don't know what that is, but... Okay, friends, thank you for coming. I will see you all on Monday. Tomorrow is my day off. Have fun. Till next time. Bye.